I'm Malcolm Mandel. This may be the ending of Do the Wrong Thing, the first part of the ending. Do the Wrong Thing is a book series or extra long novel that opens with a woman describing her suicide attempt as ordinary, like brushing my teeth. In an attempt to answer the question, why did I do it? She tells her life story. We're probably at the end of book four. Working title is Eyes of Different Colors. This is a repeat of August 14th's piece with some edits. Previous to this, Ava fell in love and it was not pleasant. This is the start of a new chapter called Olio. Reader, dear reader. At this point, things get murky as well as shameful. Funny, that. The alcohol blurs memory, but what if shame does too? What if we fall into a place where we, well, want to die? But since we cannot bring ourselves to do it, we numb ourselves with alcohol or other drugs. Ugh. My crotch contracts, my heart hurts, and the channel between the two hollows out as if my body is saying, don't write this, don't talk about this. What if my physical being is right? Why did I swear to put this all down? A vestige of Catholic confession? What if I don't talk about the darkest stuff? What if I... Well, it is mostly how I lived it, skating across the surface, drunk and laughing. Then, not drunk, not drunk, not drunk. Do not drink, Ava. Occupy your mind. Do not think about dying. Do not. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. I wish the story was uncomplicated. Abandon and loss, followed by pulling myself together and making positive changes. Everything in order. Instead, I've got a soup where failure and success, stagnation and growth exist side by side, commingled. No hero's journey for me. I'm living, walking, breathing chaos theory. My non-linear system of equations, effects are not proportional to their causes, which is a good thing in practice, though not in theory. No one rhapsodizes heroes, oleos, heroes, vagabondages. It's possible that after admitting I fell in love or whatever it was with Greg, I'm done. There, I told you the worst thing I could do, even though there were many equally bad, possibly slightly worse boyfriends, one night stands, etc. afterwards. Damn it. I had such good thoughts when I was biking to yoga, but they vaporized. I was thinking how I could, there it is. I was thinking that I could tell you how doing the Proust thing was that I hadn't examined it and didn't realize how long it would take, how hard it would be, how many literal words I'd have to type. I didn't realize I'd get bored after the initial I'll show them or whatever it was that drove me to write, draw, code, dance naked for an audience singing comedic songs, that I'd get a bit of acknowledgement and then I'd lose steam, that my standards are really low and I don't need a whole lot of affirmation, apparently. While writing this, I realized I'm ADHD, not that I believe it exists. I mean, there are always outliers in the realm of excitable natures, a subset of human natures. And these extremists might qualify as psychologically disturbed, but for the most part, ADHD-labeled people are merely high-strung, energetic, and filled with wonder. I saw this video online with the caption, Can you guess which goat is ADHD? Three baby goats stood placidly with their farmer or human caretaker, while one little guy or girl bounced like a Mexican jumping bean, having the time of his or her life. The jumper kept knocking the same larger goat over when they used him or her as a springboard. But how can you say this ball of energy is mentally ill? They're fun and full of joy. If you had to take a goat home, you'd choose this one. No question. Okay, maybe you wouldn't because they'd be a handful. But if you had a big yard or a farm, you would. They'd bounce, run, and inspire the other animals. They'd bound to you for pets, treats, and play. You'd have to train the little guy. As I said, they'd require more space or resources to burn off and utilize that energy. The investment would be worth it. You don't get to choose your goats if you're a goat mama or farmer to a goat who gives birth. As a farmer or even as a mama, you can sell or give away your handful, but this goat is an attraction. This goat wants to do tricks, use their vitality, boldness, and intelligence. They're going to be bright because that's how intelligence works. Intelligence is always fused with audacity. You can't disconnect them. 
vice versa. If a creature is bold, they're going to be bright, whether it's situational, aka physical, inquisitive, or creative. Anyway, energy, beautiful, fun, blood and hormones, vitamins, life. I don't know what makes a creature spirited. Sugar, caffeine, cocaine, and meth, sure, but how those substances become... Okay, it's fairly complicated to make adenosine triphosphate in a person. I looked it up. I'm not getting into the chemistry and biology of it here. I'm merely going to scream. Energy is fucking amazing. Guide and coach that shit. Teach the energetic baby yourself to achieve things and control themselves or yourself while remembering that they or you vibrate at a higher frequency. Allow them or yourself to make themselves, yourself, and the people around you happy, vitalized, and prosperous. Accept the spirit into your life. There you go. End of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Because energy is fucking amazing. It's hard to finish projects because the curiosity and low threshold for boredom are high and the slog through the task ability low. Bouncers need or like distraction and novelty. They like to learn and discover. Nonetheless, I need to finish what I start. This book, Eyes of Different Colors, is close to done. Add some highlights about dearly departed. He's not dead. I looked him up online, but dearly departed seemed like the right phrase. Departed from my life. Yes, that's why he's dearly departed. Greg, and how I dug myself out of the lethargic alcoholic morass I let myself fall into. For what it's worth, I didn't start to make money until I was in my 50s. Didn't stop the on-welfare, off-welfare train till my mid-30s. Didn't think seriously about making money till 40. Then 10 years made it all via investing. And yes, listening to people smarter than me. I hate sounding like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or one of those self-help books, but hey, if they're right, they're right. Anyway, you can see that it can happen late in life and that you shouldn't give up. Bounce, 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 little goat. Never stop.